the malabar exercise of quad nations and why it matters to india malabar which began as a bilateral exercise is now one of the cornerstones of military interoperability of the quad forces and chief of defense staff general bipin rawat said on wednesday that the quad's charter is to ensure freedom of navigation for all nations navies of the four member nations of the quadrilateral security dialogue or the quad india the united states japan and australia are participating in the 25th edition of the malabar exercise which began off the coast of guam in the pacific ocean on thursday malabar which began as a bilateral exercise is now one of the cornerstones of military interoperability of the quad forces and the chief of defense staff general bipin rawat said on wednesday that the quad charter is to ensure freedom of navigation for all nations what is the malabar exercise malabar is a multilateral war gaming naval exercise that was started in 1992 it began as a bilateral exercise between the navies of india and the united states two more editions of the exercise exercise were carried out in 1995 and 1996 after which there was a break until 2002 in the aftermath of india's nuclear test from 2002 onward the exercise has been conducted every year japan and australia first participated in 2007 and since 2014 india the us and japan have participated in the exercise every year what happened during the exercise last year last year the exercises was conducted in two phases the first off the coast of visakhapatnam in the bay of bengal and then in the arabian sea in november in two, in 2019 the exercise had been conducted off the coast of japan and in 2018 in the philippine sea the malabar exercises include simulated war games and combat maneuvers last year dual carrier operations were carried out joint operations centered around the vikramaditya carrier battle group of the indian navy and the nimch carrier strike group of the us navy the two carriers along with other ships submarines and aircraft of participating navies engaged in high intensity naval operations including cross deck flying operations and advanced air defense exercises by mig 29 K fighter aircraft from the Vikramaditya and F-18 jets and E-2C Hawkeye airborne early warning aircraft from the Nimch. Advanced surface and anti-submarine warfare exercises, seaman ship evolutions and weapon firing were also undertaken, which demonstrated the synergy coordination and interoperability among the four friendly navies. And what will happen this year? This year, the Navy has said Malabar will witness complex exercises including anti-surface, anti-air and anti-submarine warfare drills and other maneuvers and tactical exercises. Such complex exercises have further enhanced synergy and mutual understanding among the four navies in undertaking joint maritime security operations and will go a long way in further strengthening their already close strategic partnership, it has said. The Defense Minister has said earlier that exercise will strengthen the coordination between the navies of the participating countries which warships are participating this year the navy mentioned on thursday that the ins sivalik multi role frigate the ins kadmat anti submarine warfare corvette and p81 long range maritime patrol aircraft will be part of the exercise the us navy will be represented by the uss barry us ns rapchanok us ns big horn and p8a patrol aircraft the japanese maritime self defense force will be represented by the js kaga js murasume js shiranui destroyers in addition to a submarine and p1 patrol aircraft the royal australian navy will be represented by hms as waramunga How did the exercise expand from bilateral exercise? Japan joined the naval exercise in 2015 as a permanent member and the Malabar became a trilateral exercise. But last year was an important milestone for the first time in over a decade the exercise saw the participation of all four quad members. It was the second time that Australia participated in the Malabar series of naval exercises. In 2007 there are two Malabar exercises. The first of Okinawa I- Island of Japan in the Western Pacific which marked the first time that the exercise was held away from Indian shores a second Malabar exercise was held in September 2000 of 
of Vishakhapatnam, which saw India, Japan, United States, Australia and Singapore participate. The very next year, however, the government in Australia changed and the country stopped participating in the exercise. Why did Australia return and why is its participation important? The main reason is China. As a grouping of four powerful navies in the Indo-Pacific region, the Quad has irked China, which is flexing its military power globally. Earlier, it was due to the possibility of riling China that India had not expanded Malabar and to an extent why Australia had pulled out after 2007. But with China's relation vexed with all four participating nations and with ongoing military standoff in eastern Ladakh for more than 15 months, the Malabar sends a strong message. What is the message from Malabar then? What is the message from Malabar then? After the 2 plus 2 dialogue with US Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and US Defense Secretary Mike Esper, Defense Minister Rajnath Singh had said on October 27 last year, In our meeting, we shared assessment of the security situation across the Indo-Pacific. In that process, we reaffirmed our commitment to peace, stability and prosperity of all countries in this region. We also agreed that upholding the rules-based international order, respecting the rule of law and freedom of navigation in the international seas and upholding the territorial integrity and sovereignty of all states are essential. Our defense cooperation is intended to further the objectives. Both sides welcome Australia joining the forthcoming Malabar exercises. Rear Admiral Sudakshan Sikhande, who retired in 2016 and had headed naval intelligence earlier and had served as the defense advisor of the Indian High Commission in Canberra between 2005 and 2008, had told the Indian Express earlier that with the clear enunciation of the Quad, it would have been counterproductive to the objectives of state craft not to invite Australia. He had said that the Quad must, among other things, contrib contribute to being a key instrument of deterrence that is necessary, keeping China in mind, and added that continued tendencies to pu pushy foot around the central objective is to have mi milestones of comorbidities of statecraft that actually end some nations to perhaps appear self deter self difference Srikhande had said never served useful purposes earlier and in fact would be dangerous now and while the Quad need not be NATO in its formality, in its political congruence and as a post-war response, it can deter nothless. Speaking at an event on Wednesday where the commander of US Indo-Pacific Command Admiral John Aquilo was present, General Rawat said, while both countries participate in several exercises with like-minded nations, Quad will expand the way it will expand, after we have discussions among the four nations. Does India conduct any other naval exercises with these countries? India has several kinds of bilateral and multilateral military exercises with all these nations. Last year, the Indian Navy conducted a number of passage exercises PASACs, with the navies of Japan, Australia and the US. These are basic exercises to increase operability between the navies. The Navy has said that it regularly conducts such exercises with units of friendly foreign navies while visiting each other's port or during a rangeverse at sea. Thank you.